Hey, what's up guys? This is Nightwing2303 from kicksoncourt.com. One of my personal favorite shoes of all time from Jordan Brand, the Jordan Team 1 in my favorite colorway. Uh, at least one of them. I shared this colorway with the reverse version of this, the white with the black. Um, it, people that know this shoe know what I'm talking about. But, uh, but anyways, uh, these guys here just came in and I am super, super stoked. So um, let's just go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, so here they are. These things are beautiful. They're just beautiful. I love this shoe so much. Um, I'm actually wearing, uh, what am I wearing today? The uh, Nike Air Up, and I'm going to be changing into these as soon as I'm done with this video because I love this shoe that much. Like, these things are so sick. So, um, but yeah, this uh, same exact thing as the white and UNC version, same tech specs and everything. You got that herringbone outsole, uh, which you can see here. You got that TPU um, shank with uh, that kind of like jersey looking material behind it. And then you have heel and forefoot zoom air, which feels really, really good. Um, a lot of people were saying, hey, oh, these look really high off the ground and things like that. Um, these actually are a little bit higher off the ground than the originals um, and the 2002 uh, version. This whole shoe is a little bit bulkier than the original stuff. So um, they're not like a perfect um, like representation of what they used to be, but this is a good like replica type of version of, of the original shoe. So um, is it playable? It's totally playable. It's not a big deal. Um, I've been playing in the white and UNC versions. This leather just needs a little bit extra time to break in because it's a lot stiffer than the um, than the uh, the old stuff. But um, other than that, I think that these things are just awesome. So, um, but yeah, this is just a quick look. There you go. This colorway actually sold out a bunch of times. Um, they're available now over at finishline.com. So, um, and I think Champs is also going to be getting a few pairs as well. As for their sizing, um, I do go down half a size, uh, so I got an eight and a half. These are actually an eight and a half as well, because um, back in the day, the uh, the toe piece right here would bubble up, uh, kind of weird, um, and the leather was so soft that by going down half a size, like my toes right at the edge here, um, it wasn't like painful or anything like that. Uh, these guys here, they they just run a little bit big, so um, I went down half a size from my usual size, uh, and they look like extremely large in comparison. Again, same exact size, both of them. Um, but these ones just look a lot bulkier and all that stuff. They sit up higher um, and, uh, you know, the collar's higher, all that kind of stuff. So material is a little bit stiffer, things like that. But again, uh, I love this shoe, so I'm not really like complaining. Um, one of the things that I did notice though is that the, the uh, whatever this is, the logos um, or branding, on the, uh, the the new pair is a lot bigger. Um, so you could tell that they like remolded everything. Um, also the, the, the way that these are shaped and things like that, uh, you could tell as well. So here's the back here. Um, again, you can see everything's a little bit larger on the new version. Um, the bubble here is not only bigger, but it also sticks out a lot more uh, than this guy here. This one doesn't sit flush or anything, but it, it's not a huge bubble. And this is also uh, yellowing up and got like moisture in there and all that kind of good stuff so um but yeah these ones look though more like the originals because the uh original of this colorway looked just like this like with the white bottom the white interior and all that kind of stuff so um this one here was a little bit different um the, the o2 version so here they look at the, the toe view again uh this white midsole or not midsole the outsole is from the original stuff so this uh o2 version they changed that that was something that actually bothered me about this release but i wanted them so bad i didn't care um so i'm glad that these ones look like legit um but yeah th those are really the only real differences um you can see here some stuff on the bottom again branding is a lot smaller on these guys than they are in here um, but overall same exact stuff um the only thing to consider if you used to play in these guys or the original originals um, is that these ones are just a little bit stiffer and they just require a little bit of break in time uh, right from the get-go. But um, yeah, I went down half a size and uh, they fit me perfectly. So, um, But yeah, these ones just look tiny in comparison to these, which is strange because, again, same exact size and all that kind of good stuff. All right, guys, so that pretty much takes care of everything. Um, again, this is one of my favorite shoes of all time. If you are interested in purchasing, you can get them at Finish Line. They're also going to be, uh, come available over at Champs um, in this colorway, the UNC colorway, as well as a brand new colorway that's uh, like the Barons colorway. I posted that information actually on my Instagram. So 
Um, hopefully everybody that wanted a pair got a pair. And uh, if you did not know about these shoes and you like them, you know, buy what you like. Don't worry about what other people are talking about. Uh, not everything is about 1 through 14 and all that stuff. There's plenty of great shoes that don't even exist within the Jordan brand itself. So just keep your mind open, buy what you like, and um, you know, if it looks good, wear it. So, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned to my site, kicksoncourt.com for all your performance needs. And until next time, guys, have a good one. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nightwing2303 from kicksoncourt.com. Today we have a quick look at my personal, damn. Just wanted to show you guys the shoe. Do a quick comparison between these guys uh, with the 2002 version and then, um, you know, go on my way. So uh, thank you guys for damn fuck. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Nightwing2303 from kicksoncourt.com. My one of my very favorite like damn fuck.